Today I am genuinely so excited to get started with this series, not just because of this wonder start. It's because of the return of Deity++, Plus Plus, a mode two levels more difficult than regular Deity. This will give me a real challenge. But it's also because returning to lead the Mayan Empire, we have Pakal, the original leader from Civ 5. I am really looking forward to this. He looks really cool. Plus, this start is just nuts. Oh, Remember, Discord is the place to come if you want to see all of the user interface mods and the mods I'm using to run this game, or you want the save file, you can copy and paste it to your PC to play. I have never got on with the Mayan ever. They are a really, really weird Sith, and when I saw that there were alternative leaders and then the A to Z challenge was provided to me because of course the lovely Patreon and Coffee people, the channel supporters, gave me this Sith, I thought, wow, an opportunity to play the Mayans, but not with the tall focus that the original leader has. Lady Six Sky is good, but she can be a little bit constrained. We still have observatories, we still have halters, we still have the regular Maya ability where we don't get fresh water, but we do instead get super houses as well as having more immunities for being next to luxury resources with our city centres. But instead of the whole thing about being near your capital and being stronger, we have all of this. Farms provide plus one production in cities producing wonders. That's going to be fun. We get a burst of science and faith when completing wonders for every adjacent farm and observatory, so stacking farms and observatories observatories next to wonders is going to be really good and that burst is increased during golden ages and is repeated when a new era begins so we've got a wonder build today mayans wonder building farms this is going to be fun and looking at this start remember we don't have to worry about fresh water but with lake retba there i know that settling within two tiles of it will give me four era score so this is kind of the range i'm looking at at the moment I also don't want to settle on top of the cotton. The reason being is I want to put a plantation down. Each one gives a plus two science bonus for adjacent observatories. So just by putting a plantation down on those two tiles, Suddenly I have a plus four observatory. Oh, that's already good. That actually goes to plus six if I surround it with farms. Just saying, that's not a bad location at all. Settling next to the luxury resources will give me immunities as well. So already I think this maze tile is where to settle. Not only will I get the gold underneath the city center, which will give me more gold to start with, but it'll also give me two bonus immunities from being next to the cotton. I'll take it. Did you see all that era score? Or three from being next to Retba. Three for finding it first, and then one for settling on a floodplain. I think I probably am gonna regret that later, but what are you gonna do? I wanted to have a bit of fun. We're playing with Deity++. This mode is really difficult, and I'm actually starting with the regular drop. So the AI starts with things like four cities, tons of extra warriors, huge, huge bonuses at the beginning of the game. If we're not lucky, we're gonna get overrun by warriors within 15 turns. So we have to get a bit of defense in. Normally I would uh, scout spam. Not gonna be the case today. Barb clans, heroes and legends, monopolies and corporations, the secret societies modes are all on. This is a wetlands map. Standard, legendary start, temperatures, regular. Rainfall is wet because I didn't think it was wet enough. Sea level is low. And I am playing with Thix AI Corporations mod on today. So that should, in theory, actually fix the problem the AI has on this mode where they don't improve luxuries. I'm hoping. There's a huge amount to think about here. But with Heroes and Legends on, we have to look at the start and we actually found Hermetic Order from turn one. Now, Hermetic Order gives you our chemical societies and they work really, really well with my unique observatory district later into the game. Plus, ley lines are a bunch of fun. They're really, really good fun. I love the chaos. So I think we're just going to lean into it and immediately go for it today. We'll see if we can unlock ley lines. I'll go and find some. There are none in this start, unfortunately, but that's okay. We can go find them. I also found Anansi when I found Lake Retba. And Anansi is a really, really good hero because very strong at defending from early game deity plus plus warrior rushes. So that's cool. But also 60 science and 50 culture. These boosts are going to do huge amounts for me to rush wonders if I want to get to them early. So I'm actually going to go monument to start with today. Pottery start. I want to go irrigation as quick as I can to get these plantations down and then go writing from there. And you can see we have farm that I can improve. This wheat can easily get improved. So can this rice. So can this wheat. This is all wonderful. We're going to work on that immediately. And I'm working this 1-3 tile over to the right. It's not a bad tile for production. But honestly, I think I would rather take the gold early game. My city's not going to grow very quickly because you only start with three housing. It's a terrible, terrible thing for the Mayans. We need to get some farms down as really, really quick as we can. 
I'm getting a bit more gold per turn. That will help me to actually get a builder in really quickly because I can just buy them. So I think that's not a bad option for me. 14 turn monument to start the game. What a play. Actually, we got a bit extra gold because we found Venice over to our left immediately and nobody has met them. Oh, there is our first ley line, by the way. And it's right next to some sugar, which as we all know, is improved with a plantation. You're going to see me marking a lot of these districts on the map. If I find a plus four, I'm going to just keep it for later. Don't forget about rationalism. It's in Enlightenment in the Renaissance era, and that will already give me 50% extra science from buildings in my observatories if the district has at least four adjacency bonus. That's really easy with the Mayans, so we're going to go for that. As we're getting stuck into this game, I did just want to really quickly say thank you all for your support with the channel in 2022. It's been incredible. What a year. Almost 4,000 subscribers in five weeks. I was honestly hoping to finish the year with 20,000 and we're pushing 25. And I haven't even done the 20k special yet. That's how quickly things have gone. It's just been crazy. So thank you all so much for your support. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It makes a huge difference and it's free. And actually the channel is growing massively because of it. So, you know, thank you so much. Looks like the continent is limited, actually. We don't have infinite room to move. Sometimes wetlands maps can look a little bit Pangea-like, and this looks more like a continent's map of some kind. Or I'm on the edge of the Pangea. That is also very likely. Zanzibar to myself. Oh, lots of mercantile city-states. We'll keep an eye on that. That's a really handy thing. Great merchant, inspiration for mysticism. I will get a pantheon, so it looks like Venice might be an early game suzerain. Let's go straight into irrigation. I think we're going to unlock these farms very quickly for ourselves. We're not far off getting that first builder. It's only 200 gold. The slightly frustrating thing is I haven't actually found any tribal huts yet. Not at all, not one. So it's already turn 15 and I've only just got to two population and we have stalled. We have stalled already on city growth. Oh, what a game. No matter, Anansi, let's get you in immediately. Hercules would have been a really good hero. Probably someone like Himiko, Hippolyta. There's a lot of good options, but Anansi gives us the ability to get rid of some of these luxuries and bonus yields and, and all this sort of stuff on the map. And that gives us lots of opportunity to get huge boosts in science. We can get ourselves going really quick. In goes God King and Discipline. My warrior is just about to start taking on some barbarians and it looks like Zanzibar is going to do the heavy lifting for me here. I'll just wait a turn, let them attack. I'm going to put some time into craftsmanship and then we'll go foreign trade, but I'm going to be making use of all of these inspirations and Eurekas when we can. I don't want to leave anything on the table if possible. There is the builder, by the way. Lovely stuff. And where do I want my first farm to go? I think this one. It's already a four food tile, but that will become four food, one... Pro no, hang on. Five Five food, one production, one gold once the observatory is down. So yeah, this is the direction I'm going to send you in. We're going to go and get that tile quick. And as predicted, Zanzibar mucked up killing this barb camp. So I'm going to do it for them. I could buy a spearman for 155 gold. Not worth it for me. I'd rather keep that gold. Maybe to get a settler, maybe to get another builder. I don't know. Now do I want the era score? and the Eureka, or do I want the gold? I think I want the era score at this point, so we'll take that. And you can see it keeps flipping between a lot of tiles here on the growth. I don't trust it to wait to get that rice tile quickly. So I am gonna use some gold here to buy the tile. I don't like doing that where I can help it, but I think it's worth it in this case. Let's put the farm down immediately. Bam, irrigation is boosted. And more importantly, we've got an extra gold on this tile and a food and a half. Uh, sorry, how food, a housing and a half. Oh my goodness, can't talk today. So my capital is going to start to grow a little bit. Anansi, I need you to go out, explore the world for me, see what you find. Oh, there's another sugar right here and a wine over there and a cotton over here. I think we're gonna have quite a few spaces for plantations today and that is exciting. As much as I want a settler, I'm actually going to focus on getting my capital super powerful first. So uh, let's go for a builder to start with here. I also don't want to remove any luxuries too near to my lands because, you know, I might actually go and expand into them sometimes. So Anansi is going to make their way a little bit further out first. Also, I could get rid of this maze. I know I'm going to put an improvement on that tile. It would give me 43 gold. Might be worth just saving that. The more tech I unlock, the more that chop will be worth. And that is a really decent chop for me. 
Yeah, I'm going to hold on to that just for now. I've got some cotton to improve. The craftsmanship is almost done. Switching to foreign trade, very nice. And you can see the first plantation is done. A lot of extra gold coming in on that tile, but more importantly, the plantation means that I've just edged a little bit more on housing. We have another luxury coming into this city. Yeah, there's a lot of good stuff. I'm also now thinking about early game wonders. Now, hanging gardens, extra housing in this city and growth, those are really important things. And I could rush this through pretty quick. Don't forget my farms. My farms are going to get plus one production towards wonders. I think the time has now come to start writing. Then I can make some fancy, crazy calendars that start predicting the apocalypse. Seems to be the traditional Mayan thing to do. Oh goody! Of all of the neighbours I could have. Byzantium. This is not good. Ah, uh, well I guess we found writing. Minus nine from meeting me. Ah, yes. Deity plus plus. Okay, there is no point sending them a delegation. No point at all, but I could offer my cotton to them quickly and nab a bunch of gold really quickly. That just means that when they do inevitably go to war with me, then, you know, at least I've got their gold. I'm also going to steal the salt from right round their city. There's no chance of me getting this one and it gives me writing as well as foreign trade. I probably could have optimized that one a little better, but never mind. I think I will get rid of this maze now. It's now worth 50 gold. It's an extra charge, but now I can buy a second builder and we can just continue improving things around. It's gonna take me eight turns to get this observatory finished, but I'm gonna start to do that now. And then we've got some science and then I feel like we can actually put a bit of defense up if someone were to attack me. I say someone, I do of course mean Byzantium. One more plantation, done. Craftsmanship boosted. Let's flip now to mining. Oh, you see, archery is really good. My hutches are so strong at defending. Bit of slinger spam may not be the worst idea here, but I think my gold probably has to be saved from this point onwards towards getting settlers. This tile's a little bit more expensive now, but I will buy it so that I can put another farm down. Bam. That means this is going to be a plus five observatory now when it's finished. Very tasty. Now as fun as it would be to nab that sugar, I think if ever I'm going to go to war with Byzantium, Again, a plantation there means that there are two possible observatories that could be put in this area, which is a plus four. Just hang on to those thoughts. We want to keep them as long as we can. Starting to come up with some crazy farm arrangements now. I don't know if that's possible to do, but it's, it's very tempting. One thing that is very tempting is a Temple of Artemis on this tile, because I could put a camp down there. And within four tiles of that one, again, there's probably going to be better arrangements, but you can see I've got at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight improvements. Like, there are probably better tiles on this map, but it gets to the point where if it's that good, you might as well just go for it. So we just found Polita by finding another continent. Okay, and we can remove that stone for a little bit of a boost, 50 culture. If we did that, we would miss out on the boost from state workforce by getting a specialty district. I don't want to do that. So I'm going to flip to military tradition quickly. It's a good one to have. It allows me to get support and flanking bonuses. So we'll do that and bam. Oh, Ataman Anki would be so good in this city, but Deity++, plus plus, all of the tests I do, normally it gets built before turn 30. Like, I'm not lying, it's, it's so competitive, but I do think Temple of Artemis would be a better option. Yeah, sometimes you just gotta go with your gut, and I think my gut is pointing me in that direction already. Byzantium won't enjoy me doing that, by the way. I probably am making a big enemy doing this, but sometimes you have to just do it anyway, don't you? Too much free science. Too much free stuff. Here is the camp. Bam. Ooh, it's a good tile. It means actually I can work that for a little bit of gold and all the production so this observatory can get finished quick. The observatory was no accident. Of course it wasn't. I spent ages building that thing. <laughs> I always love that phrase. It's just like, of course it's no accident. One more sneaky little boost. I like removing everything from Byzantium's lands. It's actually relatively amusing for me. First governor, now this is a question. Do I go for Magnus and go into provision or do I go for Pingala? Or alternatively, Armani into Venice. Now that would make my trade routes better and I do want a trade route pretty quickly. I always forget to go Armani at the beginning and I always regret it. So yeah, we're gonna pop her into Venice, suzerain it, get myself some era score. We might be able to go straight into a golden age. 
I mean, if we can do that, that would be pretty cool. So next up is political philosophy. We're gonna jump straight to that. And now that we've got our money, the question is it's again Pingala or Magnus. I think Pingala and a connoisseur to get more governors later is probably gonna be the move for us here. My food growth is pretty decent in the city. So yeah, I think we'll do that Pingala. I never regret going Pingala. It's a classic mood and a classic move. I guess it's a mood and a move. Oh, actually look at that, I lied. Etamananki built on turn 32. I said turn 30. Oh, such a liar. Don't mind me though if I just nab this salt again from Byzantium. <laughs> oh, I love Anansi. So much fun. There we go. Venice is on side. A bit of era score. We can get twins now. All of these things are lovely, but I'm going to chop down the woods on that tile. Get Temple of Artemis. I think that's a really good play. Just get a couple of turns on a trader. I need that boost pretty quickly. And then I'm going to go and work that pasture if I can. We just need a lot of builders. Like a lot of builders. They're really handy for us. Gandhi. Oh, the AI is doing so well on stats already. How are people doing? Okay, Byzantium has a campus down. They're going to go science. Oh, I love that. I love that when your neighbor goes science as well. It's just so much fun. Minus nine from Gandhi as well. They do not like me either. Never mind. I'll forgive them immediately because they're going to give me 16 gold per turn or the equivalent of for my cotton. Yep, I would happily take a slightly less happy city just to do that. That's 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 lovely. I like that. That's cool. Let's just chop that trader down quickly so that we can go towards getting currency nice and quick. Now, do I put a road between me and Byzantium? That feels like a bad move. I'll trade with Venice instead. Let's trade with Venice instead. There we go. Currency boosted. Beautiful. And we shall immediately start to work the Great but Not the Great Bath. The Temple of Artemis. That's what I meant. Now, my ability is all about having observatories and farms around my wonders. This has neither, which I guess is a bit of a problem. I could go and put it down on one of these tiles thinking about it. Would that be better? I would stop a bit of a farm triangle for me, which and, and I, I don't like getting rid of these maze tiles if I can help it, but there are other wonders I can build down there. No, let, let's just stick to my guns. I think for now that's really good. Oh yeah, and look, Temple of Artemis, we're getting actual bonus production here from these tiles. The farms are giving me a little bit of extra production now, so let me just count that. Yeah, we should be getting eight production and in fact we're getting ten. Okay, cool. So this farm is actually giving me three production. I like that. That's that's awesome. Currency discovered. Political philosophy also discovered. Nice. Oh, as much as it pains me, I am gonna just buy a settler now. Uh, it'll, it'll, it'll repair itself pretty quick, but I want to get another bunch of cities down. And I'm thinking of settling this from luxuries again. This wine is a really good one, but this cotton's good too. What do you reckon? On that hill? That hill might be all right. And then, oh no, that's not next to something. Maybe this hill. Oh, this is going to be right next to Byzantium though. That would aggro them hugely. And it has minus four already. Yeah, I'm coming away from that idea rapidly. I don't want to crowd my capital. That's the thing. I really don't want to crowd my capital if I can help it. There, that might be a good one. Means I can put the observatory down soon. Yeah, we got to go. We've got to make a play in that area, haven't we? Just try, try and compete with Byzantium a little bit to get our cities over. And then I guess I'll put my other city there. It's really difficult to remember that I don't need fresh water. I'm continually, continually thinking I do when it comes to settling places. Political philosophy. I so rarely do this, but I'm going for wonders today. So autocracy is what we're going to do. Plus one yield to each, uh, for, uh, plus one to all yields. Each government plaza building, diplomatic quarter building, and palace. So the palace is the only one that's giving me, so that's going to be one of every yield. But I also get 10% production towards wonders, and that in itself is very good. I want God King, and I want it quickly because I want that pantheon sorted, but there's Corvée for some extra wonder production. We've got Discipline, which is okay. I'll go a Gogi just in case I get attacked and I need to spam out my unique unit. And then I'm gonna go Thirst Envoy counts as two. As I discover the map, that's often a very useful one. Look at that, nice, 11 turns. Oh, not again. Not again. <laughs> in the most recent guide I put, people were saying, oh, like, you stealing the Settler, it was a play that you can't guarantee. Let me tell you, almost every game it happens. If it, now there is an archer, 
There's a warrior, and I'm next to the two. There's, there's no way I'd be able to get away with that. Ah, and I'm getting 11 gold per turn. That's why I'm not doing that, but I, it is very tempting. A 10-year flood with... Te oh, a thousand-year flood with all of those improvements. Wow, this suddenly is a really cool area to go and settle. I will not forget that. That's that's really cool. Can I get the this horse done soon? Is that going to work for me? Yes, it will. Lovely. Great tile to work as well. So that's horseback riding done. We can now boost towards apprenticeship really, really quickly. Get those mana arms. I will feel so much safer with mana arms, although I don't have any iron. So really, should I feel safe? No, I haven't even discovered iron. Where is iron? What is iron? Do I even have the tech? I don't even have the tech. That's why I haven't discovered iron. I don't know what's going on. Right, quickly. Bam. Nice little boost. Got uh, no more charges on Anansi. Pantheon time. I'm always tempted by Lady of the Reeds and Marshes. There is a bunch of marsh around me, like so much. The only thing that's stopping me from thinking about this is that I might get rid of a lot of the marsh to put farms down. So whether or not that bonus will stay with me forever is a good question, but like if I can put a plantation on a marsh or a farm on a marsh like I've done already, like those are really good already. So I would be up to production in my capital with that choice. 15% production towards ancient and classical era wonders is good, but again that would get replaced very quickly. Even that one pantheon. Yeah, even that one pantheon is better. I could get Goddess of the Hunt, this camp. If I had more of them, I've got a second over there. If I had more of them, I'd be more tempted. But that could be two food and two production into my capital as well. One production, one faith from strategics. Again, I've got a second horse, but that would give me another production over there, as well as faith to try and get heroes later into the game. And heroes are really handy. And then, of course, plus one culture from plantations. You know we're going to be building a lot of plantations, but the culture right now isn't that useful. If I didn't have Anansi, I'd be more tempted by that option. Oh, it's a difficult one. I think we're going to go Reeds and Marshes. I just, I just think the extra production from that tile and the extra production we can get from these cities down there, it's going to be a huge difference for us. A massive difference. So we'll just pop that in. Yeah, it's already taken a turn off the Temple of Artemis. I love it. I'm already glad we did it. I'm already glad we did it. A Padana built on turn 39. Oh, that's pretty tough. I just need to find one more era score in three turns. It's so close. But yeah, if I can pick up a Golden Age here, oh, I'm going to be so happy. Is this good? Because I'm settling close to Byzantium? I don't know if this counts as close enough, but it might... Uh, no, it doesn't. Chichenitsa. Oh, no rainforest near this city. That's a shame. Anyway, it starts with an amenity because it's next to this wine. I'm going to slap that wine immediately down, I think. Yeah, just bam, like that. And we can already improve wine. I can create an industry around them. Oh, I keep forgetting about the industries. Yeah, that's an option. If I do that, let's just take the gold from Byzantium. 245. 245 gold. That's what we need, which I've done. And now I can get the builder and then I can make an industry on one of those two. Oh, hang on though. No. If I make an industry, that will make the observatory worse because that doesn't count as an observation. Oh, no, as, a, as a plantation. Oh. Oh, that's annoying. I feel like I might have just mucked that one up. You know, I'm actually gonna have to make the industry and then remove it and put the plantation back down. I need the era score. I really, really need the era score. I want to get into a golden age and that I think is pretty much the only way we can do it. So that's a tad painful, but oh, what can you do? Yeah, it removes the plantation. Oh, painful stuff. But there we go. We got the first industry in the world. I'll remove it next turn. I'll put the plantation back down. We got the golden age, but at what cost? Okay, we're in a golden age. It's a new era. We would have got a burst of science and faith if my wonders were next to farms or observatories. They are not. They are not next to those. So that's that's not good. But we will build more. Don't you worry. In the meantime, we can start thinking about this. Now, free inquiry means that we could get more Eureka science, and I like that. But Exodus of the Evangelists means that we could guarantee getting a religion. I honestly don't know if we want a religion in this game. It's always good fun to have one, but we might just steal somebody else's. Monumentality means that we can move our builders faster, as well as purchasing them with faith. I don't want to purchase them with faith, being honest with you, because I would like that faith on my heroes. I've got to pray for my heroes to come back in. 
Builders and settlers are cheaper to purchase with gold though. Now that is something that would help me to get out just a little bit. Helps me turn my economy into industry. So yeah, let's let's do that. I really ideally want to get Anansi back this era. It's going to be really tough to do that, but that's kind of what I'm hoping for. Temple of Artemis. Okay, extra food, extra housing in this city, but also camps, pastures, and plantations within four tiles of this wonder provide an extra immunity. I believe my capital is now going to be ecstatic. That means more science, more growth, more of all of the good stuff. Drama and poetry as well is in. Urban planning. I'm going to get you done quickly because I'm now thinking, wouldn't it be good if I just follow that up immediately with another wonder? Hanging gardens would be amazing especially if I put hanging gardens down and then put farms all around it. That would be a useful one. Or I popped it down there and then put farms around it in that. Oh, hmm. Mm. Yeah, I think that's what I want to do. But to start with, I'm going to just, I mean, Great Bath would also be a really good one for a very similar reason. Let's just crank out another builder. Then I'll put the hanging gardens down. I think I am going to put it in this little dish because I can put um, farms all around it. And that's going to give me a big science boost. I don't know how big a science boost, but I really want to test that aspect of the sieve. And it's the only way I think I'm going to do that. So I believe Anansi is going to now get killed. Yeah, unfortunate, but I get the era score from that as well as an epic and the epic gives me two culture, two faith and six tourism. It's the faith which is the most important thing because I need a thousand of it in this era ideally. Yeah, that's that's unlikely to happen. It's very unlikely to happen, but I would like Anansi back this era and every era in order to give me all of those bonuses. My gold at the moment is going into settlers. As painful as that expenditure is, I really need to get some cities out here. I really do. And it's the quickest way of doing it. Right. As discussed, hanging gardens, there it will go. That's really good. We're going to pop that down and we're going to put the farms around it, I think. I'm also going to sacrifice just a little bit of adjacency from that observatory. And I, th oh, do I want to put, this is the thing. I'm really tempted to put the hanging garden, sorry, the, the, the great bath down on that tile or on this one. Could do it on this one. What river does that one count as? It is the same as this river. Okay, so this would actually protect the whole thing. Yeah, I think Hanging Gardens is going to go there. It's it's there's, it's one of these games, right, where there is no perfect way of putting everything down. Everything is clashing, conflicting with everything else. But I think that is okay. Oh, it's so much gold to be spending, but 115 to now get that wheat down. Yeah, we're working at feudalism boosted. I really want feudalism quick actually thinking about it really really quick but look i've got four farms around the hanging gardens now that should be good there's laventa still looking for somebody else around this area we've there's a couple of people that india and byzantium have met are you fighting between the two of you they are oh thank goodness byzantium's going after india rather than me that that i like i can get behind that that's awesome City number three, Decal, founded, lovely. And it's working at four food tile. I mean, why you're doing that? You have no housing, my friend. That's not a sensible choice. Go work that observatory quickly. The thing that I am most disappointed and mystified about is that Byzantium is not going for a religion this game. They are doing that deliberately, just to spite me. Just to go, you know what? Yeah, you wanted to go, you absolutely wanted to go full science, didn't you, Ursa? So yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna be that person. <laughs> I can just see it. Here we go. Increases growth by 15% in all cities. Now, this is going to be especially happy in my capital. And more importantly, I'm really hoping we're going to get a big old um, science and faith boost here. Now, I've got almost zero faith, so this should give me a pretty accurate representation of how much the bonus is. There are four farms next to this hanging gardens. Please, please, please be a good boost. It gave me 60 science and I believe 80 gold. Okay, that's 15 science and 20 faith. I'm leaving a map tack on the mountain. Per farm, that's 15 science and 20 faith. Disappointing. <laughs> okay, maybe we shouldn't be worried about that particular aspect of it yet. But we can test it with observations, actually. We can we can do that down here. And I think, I mean, uh, oligarchy, really, the bonus I want to get is the government plaza. That would really, really help here. The more I'm thinking about it, the more a government plaza on that hill actually works really well because it would give the bonus to both of those observatories. What would that suddenly look like if I did that? I think that would make it into plus fives. But yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. 
we'll keep an eye on that. There's a lot of different boosts we can go. Let's just quickly get bronze working. I've been waiting to kill barbs, but honestly, the barbs have been pretty chill this game, which I'm not complaining about. Like, that is, that is A-OK -okay with Ursa. Actually, just a quick watermill in my capital. I'm just realizing how much I've got there. And then, yeah, great bath. Ideally, yeah, we want to finish these observatories first. Then I'll get the great bath. Oh, Byzantium's got Himiko. Oh, ho, ho, that's not good. Oh, dear. Okay, never mind. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Actually, thinking about it, I'm unlikely to get mines. So I might just rush apprenticeship. Where are my iron mines? Actually, I say that. That is one mine I could get. That iron is a pretty decent one for me. Let's just quickly get that irrigation site. Sorry, that plantation. The sugar gives me an um, observation boost over there. And I want to go and get this cotton for exactly the same reason. Most importantly as well, look at that sugar. Oh, yeah, there's the gold. There is the gold. Okay, I think I could get another settler out quickly, almost, but I'm going to get the infrastructure out. We just need a few builders now just to get things going. We'll focus on getting settlers soon. I want my cities to actually do something first. That is a really important thing for me here. Actually making sure we do something and giving these cities just a bit of housing, like that in itself, is a really big improvement. Oh, and I can actually buy furs. That makes all my cities happy again. Okay, cool. All right, so we've got good growth now. We're 24.8% in both of these cities. Coupe! Coupe! Honor to meet you. Honor to meet you, sir. What would you... Do you want my cotton? Oh, they do. Yeah, actually, we're going to make good friends with Coupe. Do you want my horses as well? They do. They want seahorses. Lovely. They are minus four delegation. We want a friend. I need at least one friend. So I think doing all those things. Yeah, relationship two, friendship. No, not ready for a public friendship yet. But if I can get at least one friend. Oh my lord. Here is a mine. But more importantly, there's iron working boosted. And we're actually going to get some iron into that city now. I love that. My capital has seven amenities and room to grow. So I could get extra, a little bit more production and some gold from a continued route to Venice. Or I could look to get a little bit of food from one of my other cities. That will go up momentarily once these get themselves a bit more of a district. There's a lot of options here. I think actually the gold from Venice is probably where I need to go. But look at these extra farms on the resources now. Oh, that, that is a tile. That is a tile and a half. Apprenticeship and industrial zones. Okay, now we have just discovered Hercules. And Hercules is going to mean that I can build districts in my capital whilst I'm focusing on getting wonders, which is a really cool thing. But it's 26 turns in both. I mean, it's a lot of production needed. I could chop them out. Actually, Tikal. Tikal's the city. This is the one I really, really want to be working well at the moment. I just get some more built. Yeah, we're ages away from feudalism. Absolutely ages away from feudalism. So I'm going to just continue getting builders for a second. We need to just keep improving these cities. Just buy this tile quickly and then switch it back to there because my capital is, again, going to just make it into a beautiful little food tile. Oh, I can sell my epic for 54 gold per turn. Oh, as much as I want the faith. Yeah, it's going to happen. It's going to have to happen. We we need all this gold and I need it quick. Actually, I'm going to keep the iron. I might mana arms rush Byzantium. It's, te it's always tempting to do that. It's always probably a bad idea, but it's always tempting. Here is the first observatory done and I can finish the monument and actually get Hercules in. I, I think that's going to be a really, really good long-term play. I can also... Think about getting an extra horsey horse into my capital, like so. I'll work it, but more importantly, it's the amenity boost that I like. And the fact that I'm selling the horses. Mainly to Byzantium. I feel like that's probably not a good long-term move. Like, <laughs> of all of the people that I could be selling army to, Byzantium's probably not the ones to be doing that to. But you know, it's fine. It's fine. I'm sure it's fine. And there's the other observatory done as well. Okay, the time has come. Let's get this great bath sorted. So let's chop this for a hundred gold and great bath. You know you want to. Down you pop. Four turns to finish that. Oh yes. Colosseum is the next one. Of course. Colosseum. Imagine how happy we would be with Colosseum in our lands, everybody. Oh, we'd be so happy. Imagine how difficult it's going to be to place without removing like half of my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many farms down at the moment, it's slightly disturbing. Okay, Colosseum might be one I rush with Imhotep. I probably need to focus now on getting my industrial zone down. Imhotep is such a good first engineer, I really, really want to focus on getting them down. This feels like a very slow start, being honest with you, but I kind of like how it's playing out at the moment. I feel like 
from an economic point of view, we will get a very, very good basis to grow from in a second. I'm just going to put a turn's worth of uh, production into the library. Then I'm going to take over this tile and I am going to do a, what is it, government plaza in that city. That'll make the observatories better, but it'll also give me the ability to put Magnus in my city and start provisioning it. Oh, Byzantium are really pressing me in now. It is being a bit frustrating. Don't worry. We have other places we can settle. It, it, it's, they're not the best. They're not the best places to settle, but they do give me options still. And I've got all of this territory to the right of me that I haven't explored yet. And let's face it, it's only going to be a matter of time before I end up going to war with Byzantium. I just can't help myself. I really can't. This is what I quite like about Deity++. The mode is so difficult, you actually see the AI settling properly and really settling well. So that could be quite fun. Right, take library off. It's the government plaza I want to rush. So I'll make sure that that tile is in Tikal. There is nothing being produced at the moment. Then I will chop the 48 production and then the government plaza goes down. Did you see that went from eight turns to three turns? So the chop went into the government plaza there. That's, that's wonderful. And here's the great bath. Huzzah! Mainly the thing I'm looking for is the bonus here. The science, the faith, that's what I'm looking for. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? More importantly, how many tiles have already flooded? I don't know if this river has flooded yet, but it will. So I got 120 science and 160 faith. So 120 science. We know already that it's 15, 30, 45, 60. So 60 science came from these two. I think that's 30 each, right? And then 120, uh, 160, 80. So yeah, so 30 and 40. So it's literally double. Again, this is a, a nonsense little tack, but this is just for us to remember. So 30 science, 40 faith on the adjacency there. Ah, no faith. No faith has appeared on this river yet. But yet is the big term there. Yeah, you know what? I think I have an evil plan. We are going to do an anti-tank rush. So anti-tank has the benefit of being Byzantium's bugbear because they love tagmas and they love cavalry. I love pikemen because I have very little iron and I also love the statue of Zeus because I haven't played with this in a long time. Statue of Zeus, it just needs to be on flat land adjacent to an encampment with a barracks. Not too bad. I was thinking about putting an industrial zone on this tile because once the quarry had gone down there and I put a mine on that tile, that would be a plus three. It means really it might have to be over in this direction, maybe that we pop one down. Oh, this is, this is tough. I'd, namely, the, I, I just want to keep all of my like buildings because they're so good. Ah, uh, you know what? Fine, I'm going to have to put it down here, aren't I? Because there's actually a lovely space for the Statue of Zeus between these two observatories, which means I'm going to get an even bigger science and faith boost every time. We're, we're playing for the greater good here, so I'll put the encampment down on that tile. It feels like a very unoptimized... <laughs> but, you know, like the main thing is that these are plus four. That, I think, is the main thing. And I believe once the government plaza is finished, they will be plus four. So as long as it's plus four, I don't need it to be any higher. Let's just commit. Before I get cold feet, let's just commit. I'm spending all my gold on tiles, but I think this is the thing to do. There's the encampment. We discover Oya and we boost military training doing that as well. And I believe we're going to get the boost on mathematics in a second additionally. So that's all lovely. This is definitely barracks, isn't it? Yeah, barracks. Let's pop that down now. And there's the government plaza finished. You're going to do that for me? Yay, mathematics finishes at the same time. That's wonderful quickly military tactics get it done fast i think warlord's throne might be the one for this one seeing as we're about to go and take over so much of byzantium but i could also see the joy of the audience chamber in terms of making my capital and all of the other cities i've got uh, governors in really really good that could be an equally good move I, I i would be convinced on both there's too good an opportunity here, though. Too good an opportunity, so I am going to do Warlord's Throne. I haven't done Warlord's Throne in ages. Feels like it's just one of those things that I would love to do. Let's get Connoisseur in with Pingala. I've been meaning to do this for so long, and I just haven't. 16 culture goes to 29 per turn. Oh, that's a big improvement. Military training, done. Perfect. Statue of Zeus. I am so excited to do this. We're going to have to swap that tile in briefly just so I can plump it right down in the middle. 
Just finishing ancient walls. I meant to do that for a little bit, but let's put that farm down as well. Oh yeah, we've got some good tiles. We really do. My capital is absolutely on fire right now. Just because I need a little bit of extra science, I'm thinking about going for a library in both of my two other cities, which I'm gonna do quickly. Yeah, one, and then we'll do that next turn. Yeah, I need to build infrastructure. I haven't got enough libraries in. This is why. Classical, uh, oh, Eureka for Mathematics and one other technology. I'm actually gonna pass. Not the one I want. See if we can get somebody else. Someone better. Engineering, boosted. Statue of Zeus, eight turns. Really? That much? Feels like I should be able to do that quicker. 143 production per turn. That's, that's pretty good. And I actually think I should get, um, what would that be? 60, 75 science from finishing it as well, which is pretty cool. Actually putting in strategos as well, because no one is getting engineering, uh, sorry, general points. And I've just put myself to four by doing that. Defensive tactics is going to give me another governor. And I'm thinking I could skip the science promotion and go straight to grants. And that would give me another two Engi uh, sorry, general points per turn. I keep saying engineer. I don't know why I keep saying engineer. That's a bit weird. Oh no. Oh, I really want this golden age. I really do. How many have I got to get? 61. So I've got to get 19 points. I'm going to get three from finishing the statue of Zeus. I'll get one for a hero rejoining. Oh, sorry, a new one. So that'll be Hercules. That'll go to four. Ah, I'd get rid of a deer on that tile, but that would give me a holy sign. That would give me another three. So that could get to seven. I've got my unique unit. That's a really good one. That's another four. So that'll give me 11 points. And I think if I can engineer either a theater square or an industrial zone, maybe that would be another option for me. There are things I can do. There are just definitely things I can do. It's just about whether or not I can squeeze everything out in the time. Hercules is absolutely going to make this slightly more doable. I could, gee, how cheap is Venice? 280 gold. I could declare war on Byzantium and then levy the troops really quickly as well. That would give me two. Yeah, leave us with me. Leave us with me. I think, I think I've got options here, but it's just about making sure that I do them all properly. So there's Hercules. That's one era score. Oh, just, just the one. You know what? I, I'm actually taking one as a really good result for me here. I think I'm going to have to sacrifice a couple of good tiles here to make this work. But the holy site is absolutely one of those things I want to do. That's not a bad thing. Anansai could be bought for a lot cheaper with a temple. And India, quite nearby, has Feed the World with Hinduism. So that, again, is not the worst thing. If that were to spread over to me... That would be pretty cool. Catholicism might get in the way, though. What is Catholicism? Choral music. Again, not the worst thing in the world. That would be a plus three theatre square. Again, that's another boost of Ira score. Oh, there's a tribal hut right above my city. You know how I always complain about the AI never exploring properly around them? Yeah. Orc. Oh, up a note. has just appeared above me. Oh, I was thinking about buying a unit from them, but I can't do that anymore. Trigger an inspiration for mercenaries. Ho, oh, ho, ho. I might actually get a city-state friend from this. Hang on, let's just chop this quick. Statue of Zeus. I am actually really pleased about this. That is three archers, three spearmen, and a battering ram, as well as 50% production from now on towards anti-cavalry units. Yeah, we're going to be able to absolutely rush units out now. It's going to be so much fun. And I get the Holche from doing that. So that's a big boost of era score there. We now only need 10. <laughs> only need 10. I'm going to treat myself briefly to this industrial zone. It's a plus three. I need plus four for the bonus. But I just think the production from this, as well as the Imhotep points, as I like to call them, that's going to be very handy indeed for me. So Holche are slightly stronger than Archers, but more importantly, they have plus five damage when they attack wounded units, which is really, really cool. But also the Battering Ram is handy. I've almost got Pikemen. And uh, did you see the little boost of faith and science I had there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. It's all good. That, I think, is the first city-state uh, suzerain for that one as well. Okay, cool. Mulan. Oh, yeah, of course I could chop out another hero. It would be quite difficult, but it is possible. Do I levy the military? Boats? Uh, they're not very useful, but I guess I could explore with that. Well, hang on to that. I don't know about that one, actually. That could be, that could be a mistake. Okay, an expensive little wave of upgrades, but these pikemen have 45 strength. That's tough. It's really tough and backed up by these Hulche. We should be doing very nice indeed. I'm just going to have to move you briefly there so that Hercules can get round and we can pop this theatre square down as soon as possible. Hungary has just declared war on Byzantium. Oh, okay. We have somebody on our side. They don't know it yet. 
but they are on our side. Three era score there for the holy site, and let's go and pick up this quickly. I believe that's an era score for finding a tribal village. I mean, maybe. I'm gonna have to declare war on you as well, Byzantium. I know it's a surprise war. I know, I know. But India, you don't mind. You don't mind because you're going to join. No, they're not going to join me. They're peace locked. But you know, someone might join me eventually. Now, Hercules, if you could uh, be so kind as to pop this theatre square down for me, that would be very kind. Very good. And Venice, I believe I can just levy you for two era score. We did it. Oh my god. That was like 20 era score in about uh, 10 turns. Like, I I'll take that. That That's... That's... Yeah, that's all right, isn't it? <laughs> and finally, a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, I am Salty Tech, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Doughboy91, Seancrates, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Kroger Brand Trail Mix, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Matthew Hatch, Amir C, Henry, Rom88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boy Zorro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truand, Creston, RB Hedge, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax. Thank you for all of your support. Cheers!